Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop, retired meteorologist. This is Saturday, May 27th, and yes, I was supposed to have a garden tour today, but it ain't gonna happen. Look at all the clouds and rain coming down across the Heavenly Backyard Garden at this time. This is that non-tropical low pressure system that's off the coast right now, and that continues to drop moderate to heavy rains across a large portion of our region, particularly the upper portions of southeastern Georgia and the eastern portions of South Carolina. So let's take a look at the radar summary right now. There you can see quite a bit of precipitation over into uh, uh, the upper portions of southeastern Georgia and into the southern portions of South Carolina. A little reprieve at the moment for eastern South Carolina, but there's the core of the system right now off the coast of southeastern Georgia and just to the uh, east southeast of Tybee Island. Now it's been dropping quite a bit of rain across the area and this region right here, this little squall line here, uh, is producing some thunder and lightning. So you might be hearing some of that uh, thunder and, uh, off the coast right now moving closer and closer to the coastline. And if that moves on shore, that's going to be some moderately very heavy rains associated with that for a brief period of time. Also the winds have been very blustery across our region. So let's take a look at the rainfall total so far. I've had over an inch. I'm up to almost an inch and a half of rain now here in the Heavenly Backyard Garden. Looking at rainfall totals from the radar estimation uh, indicates quite a bit of rain has fallen across the eastern portions of uh, Beaufort County into Chatham County uh, in and around the Hilton Head area. About three inches of rain now has fallen across portions of that region and uh, approaching three inches anyway. And over here in Hampton County and western portions of uh, Jasper County, South Carolina, over into Effingham County down into Bryan County uh, looks like there has been over two inches of rain almost two and a half inches of rain in some locations out in that region there so um, the moderate to heavy rains continue to bush inland and then even in the Pembroke area about an inch and a half to almost two inches of rain falling out in that region there of course out in the ocean there's your heaviest rainfall in that region there but that's going to remain offshore with this system as it continues to push off to the north. Looking at the satellite imagery, there you can see uh, the core of the low pressure system. Now the whole system itself will be moving to the north, northwest throughout the afternoon hours, but some of that rain is moving on shore right now. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. And also we are seeing some uh, lightning and thunder associated with the uh, system just offshore. And there you can see it uh, right over here, uh, just off the coast of the upper parts of southeastern Georgia and southern South Carolina. So if you're hearing thunder, that's coming in from right off the offshore waters, and that could be moving on shore uh, very shortly as well. What about the models? They're indicating uh, the system right now uh, just uh, off the coast, and it'll be moving northward. Let's put this into motion. And this is the high resolution re rapid refresh model. And it shows the low itself moving northward toward the Charleston Myrtle Beach area throughout the afternoon hours. And as it does move away, we'll start seeing the rain ending uh, in the uh, mid afternoon hours, breaking down to scattered showers. And then the showers will be ending tonight with clearing conditions, perhaps overnight into tomorrow with partial clearing anyway. And then uh, looks like fair to partly cloudy tomorrow morning and uh, Monday mornings, but the afternoons we could see some of those scattered showers and thunder showers, uh, which would be more typical for this time of the May. But right now, our temperature is only 54 degrees. Normal low for this time of the year is 60, uh, 66. And the record highest low temperature for today is that temperature of 66 set back in the 1970s. But with that uh, being said, the rains are continuing to keep that air cool and cold, as a matter of fact. And uh, the normal high for the day is 87 degrees, to keep that in mind. Uh, we're not even going to be where, anywhere near that. But it'll be back in the mid upper 70s for tomorrow and on Monday. Still very rough out sea. Not a good day to take the boat out whatsoever. Tomorrow, the seas will still be choppy. All along the beaches, it's going to be those rip currents. So keep an eye on that. Uh, watch out for those rip currents. Uh, throughout the day tomorrow. Now as the system slowly pulls away, we'll start seeing some clearing weather conditions overnight and we'll see some uh, uh, periods of sunshine for tomorrow and again on Monday Memorial Day. However, um, there could be some of those scattered afternoon showers and thunderstorms, uh, typical late May, early June type weather patterns and temperatures will be warming into the 70s. Now today, it's very rough along the ocean, uh, so any boating activity today is totally out of the question for tomorrow. Uh, it'll be better, but the seas will still be choppy. And if you're going to the beaches, there's a strong 
uh, risk for strong rip currents to be pulling out away from the coast. So be careful if you're going to be swimming in the waters tomorrow, there's still a high chance for those rip currents. There'll be lesser of a chance on Monday. Monday looks like a, a decent beach day shaping up, but watch out for those afternoon showers and thunder showers. So with that being said, I hope you stay dry. Have a great Memorial Day weekend, and I'll see you later right here on YouTube.